Okay. Good evening, everyone. I'm going to call the Marion Township Board of Supervisors organizational meeting for 2024 to order. The time is now 7 p.m. First item on the agenda is the Pledge of Allegiance. I ask that everyone please rise. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and the Republic of Pakistan, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. At the sign, we'll look at support of public comments. If you would like to speak, we ask to come to the podium and clearly state your names and address for the record and also sign in on the sheet in front of the room. There are, are no participants on Zoom, and I see no public comments from the room. Okay, item one is to appoint the temporary chairman for the organizational meeting. I'll make a point myself. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene, aye. Next is to appoint the temporary secretary for the organizational meeting. I'll make a motion to appoint Sue Sabi as the secretary. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene, aye. Okay, this time I declare all offices vacant. We will now go through the process of reappointing. Um, I'll make a motion to appoint myself chairman again for 2024. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene, aye. Okay. Next is to make a, a vice chairman. I'll make a motion to appoint yeah, yeah. Irene Zaleski as the vice chairman. Second. Roll call, Peter. Yeah. Aye. Irene. Okay. Next is to appoint the part time secretary. I'll make a motion to appoint Sue Stavu. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Aye. Second. Roll call, Peter. Next is to appoint the part time assistant secretary. Make a motion to appoint uh, Lisa Haggerly and Valerie Fitter, right? Who wants to thank you? Uh, Lisa Haggerly and Valerie Fitter. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Next is to appoint the part time treasurer. I'll make a motion to appoint Irene. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Does Stan have he's, any? He's really not. Oh, so we'll <laughs> take that. You don't have to make any appointment. Um, next is to appoint the roadmaster. I'll make a, a motion to appoint Chris Troutman. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Next is to appoint the township solicitor in 2023. This is attorney Andrew George for Kozlov Town. Um, have we gotten word? Is Andy still? <laughs> Okay. Is Ant still in it a little? Yeah, that's what I'm curious because sometimes he, he waved in on stuff, but we had to follow him for probably oh, more than eight years. months. Yeah. Um, okay, so I'll make a motion to appoint the township solicitor as attorney Andrew George or attorney Colin McFarland from Coswell Town. Second. <laughs> Roll we'll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Next is appointing the zoning hearing board solicitor. Last year, this was attorney Keith Levy from Harley Snyder. I'll make a motion to make the same appointment this year. Second. We'll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Next is the financial institution. I'll make a motion to continue using Fulton Bank. Second. We'll call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Next. Is the appointment of Barbara A. Aiken, CPA, and Aiken's Accounting uh, for performing the financial audits. Um, I'll make the motion to approve that. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Next is the appointment of the engineering firm for Township Planning, uh, Township and the Planning Commission. Uh, last year, this was Systems Design Engineering. I'll make a motion to appoint Systems Design Engineering again. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene, aye. Okay. Next is to appoint the engineering firm for wastewater projects. Last year, this was HydroTerra. We'll make a motion to appoint HydroTerra professionals for the wastewater project. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene, aye. Okay. Next is the building code officials and code enforcement officers. This was the Kraft Municipal Group. I'll make a motion to appoint Kraft Municipal Group again. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Aye. Next is to appoint the zoning officer uh, for 2023. This is Charlie Hess. 
and since the design engineer, I'll make a motion to appoint, make the same appointment with the chair. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Okay. Next is to appoint the assistant zoning officer. Last year, this was Kraft Municipal Group. Make a motion to appoint Kraft Municipal Group again in 2024. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Next is to appoint the sewage enforcement officer. Last year, this was Scott McCaffrey from System Design Engineering. Make a motion to appoint Scott McCaffrey again this year. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Next is to appoint the alternate sewage enforcement officer. Last year, this was Hydra Terra. Uh, SME does have their own alternates as well. Nicholas Falk, Keith Showalter, and Thomas Hunger. Um, I'll actually make a motion to appoint uh, Nicholas Falk, Keith Showalter, and Thomas Hunger from SCD along with Hydra Terra as alternate SEOs. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Next is the appointment of road crew employees. Uh, last year, we had Ian Brubaker, Donald Height, Kevin Sadison, Richard Troutman Jr., David Sabi, Tony Brubaker, Brian Allgaier, Franklin Troutman, Luke Troutman, David Patrick, Travis Oberholzer, Joshua Bellman, John Celeste, Peter McCarthy, Irene Celeste, and James Brooks, uh, with the exception of James Brooks. Back to me, okay. Butch, he told Butch that he's not interested okay. earlier in the year. Okay. Um, David Patrick is no longer living in Marion Township, but um, he he never turned in his payroll packet. I think he's really interested. Okay. Um, Travis Overholzer isn't interested, correct? Or is he? Uh, well, you don't want to you don't want to plow on Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> and and I already need to do so. Yeah. All right. You've never used. I've not heard anything from him. We'll scratch them all. What about Liam Brubaker? He's really yeah. Good. And Liam Brubaker. Yeah, I mean, is he doing okay for daylight stuff, or is it a point where he's not? And I think it's kind of just accept his limitations. I think his son is my feet up to the office staff. Okay. Noted. I'll make the. I mean, man is. I don't know how old he is, but uh, yeah. he just doesn't have to Noted. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, first we got his call attack. We just called him today and told him to get something in. Oh, the tack, right? And like PT and Okay. Okay. I don't have to take James and Jim yeah. So I'll make a motion to appoint road crew employees for 2024 of Donald Height, Kevin Sadison, Richard Trowman Jr., David Sabi, Tony Brubaker, Ryan Allgaier. Franklin Troutman, John Celeste, Peter McCarthy, Irene Celeste, and Carl Lipton. Oh, Irene. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Next is for the Planning Commission appointment. This is uh, an open appointment that uh, David, or to Dennis Sadison is willing to serve another term for. Uh, the following terms are on Expiring uh, in this order, Mervyn Brubaker, 2023, which but he was re Yeah, Sorry, that's okay. Um, Dennis Sadison, Franklin Troutman, um, Brian Allgaier, and Claire Zimmerman going 2024, 20, 2025, 20, 2026. 20, um, yeah, so we just have to make a motion on that. Yeah, so I'll make a motion to appoint Dennis Sadison on the Planning Commission for a term of four years. Second. Paul Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Next is the Western Berks Planning Commission appointment. This requires two members and an alternate. In 2023, this was myself and Jim Brooks with Irene as the alternate. Um, I think what we're going to want to do this year is uh, I'll make a motion to appoint myself and Irene as the members. And then third member of the comes on, we can appoint them as the alternate or restructure as necessary. <laughs> We'll call Peter. Hi. Hi. Okay. Next is the zoning hearing board appointment. Uh, David Savi is the servant of the term. Thank you, Dave. Uh, I'll make a motion to appoint David Savi to the zoning hearing board. Second. Roll call, Peter. Hi. Irene. Hi. Okay. Next is to appoint the vacancy board chairman. Uh, Kelly, you're here. You did the interest in serving other terms, though? Yes. Thank you. 
Uh, I'll make a motion to appoint Kelly Cox as the vacancy board chairman. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Aye. Did we skip this one? No, that's just information. Oh, okay. Um, next is to appoint the emergency management coordinator. Last year, it was John Celeste, who is willing to continue to serve in this capacity. So I'll make a motion to appoint John Celeste as the emergency management coordinator for 2024. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. 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 Okay. Next is the, to appoint the right to know records officer and alternate. Last year, this was Irene Jim. Um, I'll make a motion to appoint Irene as the primary and myself as the alternate. Ask you a question in the middle of the motion or no? Yes. Yeah. Are we'll we allowed to have any of the ladies? I think yes. You yeah. the sign was at one yeah. between Okay. So let's table my motion for a second. Let us. I'll, I'll rescind the motion. Um, Irene, do you want to be the alternate? Yes. No, no. Do you want to be the primary? Okay. Um, would you be interested in helping me out? It's, it's usually a collaborative effort we need for the information in office. Yeah, it's mostly data yeah. with the boxes. Okay. So. okay. Um, are we allowed to? Have, I think we're allowed to have more than one alternate. Yeah. Okay. So I'll make a motion to appoint Irene Celeste as the primary right to know officer and alternates as uh, Lisa Haggerly and Valerie Vick. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. It's a very simple job. Yeah. yeah. It's, 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 it's something that they can do. I've been saying, calling people, saying, there's so much information. I can be here during this time. If you'd like, you can have access to the file box and pull the information that you need. Most of the time, it's just responding to an email. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really, it's yeah. like we get the nope. five in a year, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Next is the supervisor liaison appointments. Uh, the liaison to the planning commission. Uh, last year with myself. I'll make a motion, a motion to appoint me again. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Aye. Okay. Next is the liaison to the voting hearing board. Last year, this was Jim Brooks. Uh, in the absence of Jim or third supervisor, I'll make a motion to appoint myself. Next pass again. Second. <laughs> Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Aye. Okay. Next is the liaison to the police department. FBU. Yeah. It's like it's up the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll make a motion to appoint Irene Celeski as the liaison to the police department. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Yeah. Next is the liaison for the Township Building and Playground Association. Uh, this is last year, this was Jim. I'll take over for this. Um, I'll make a motion to report myself as the liaison to the MPTA. Second. Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Next is to appoint the current per capita tax collection. Um, this is to collect the current per capita taxes. I'll make a motion to appoint Irene Height as she is the tax collector of Mary. Second. Do you want to call Peter? Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Next is to appoint people for capita tax collection. Uh, last year, this was element statewide tax recovery. I believe they're willing to serve in that capacity again. So I'll make a motion to appoint uh, element statewide tax recovery as the delinquent for capita tax collection. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. The chief administrative officer for Marion County. Pension plan. Uh, last year, this was Irene. Irene, are you willing to do that again? Yeah. Okay. I'll make a motion to appoint Irene Celeste as the chief administrative officer for Marion Township. Mm -hmm. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. The next item is to set the employee pay rates. Last year, this was a rate of $22 for the secretary per hour. Assistant secretaries at $17.50, treasurer at $20, and roadmaster at $21, road crew workers at $20. And the elected auditor would set the, or elected auditors, excuse me, would set the uh, treasurer rate and road crew rate for any that were working with this uh, supervisor. Uh, I'm personally in favor, based on the, the costs of everything going up, giving everybody a little bit of an increase. Uh, for example, going for like $22.50 for the secretary, $18 for the assistant secretaries. Um, treasurer, I, I think, think it's kind of a point. I think it's okay. You don't, you don't yeah. put in any hours anyway. 
Uh, Roadmaster, $21, 20, $21.50. Um, road crew workers, $20 an hour going to $20.50. Um, and we can't set any uh, rates for ourselves in any capacity that we're going to um, Are you okay with giving it essentially a 50 cent raise across the board? Okay. So I'll make I'll, I'll just say I'll make a motion. I'll go for everything. Um, I'll make a motion to set the employee pay rates for 2024 of the secretary of $22.50 per hour, assistant secretaries of $18 per hour, treasurers $20.50 per hour, roadmaster of $21.50 per hour, road crew workers of $20.50 per hour. Second. Call Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. okay. Next is to set the snow emergency contractors pay rate. Last year we hired farmers for twenty dollars per hour on payroll, and then rented the equipment at eighty dollars per hour. Uh, we made that change relatively, let's say, later in the year. It was like second half of the year. I don't see any reason to change that to keep it up. So I'll make a motion to set the snow emergency contractors pay rate for twenty twenty four. Uh, twenty dollars per hour plus a equipment rental rate of eighty dollars per hour. So, roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay. Next is to set the board of supervisor meeting pay rate and road work rate. Uh, this is a recommendation to the auditors. We can't set our, our own rates. Um, it's also kind of a moot point because none of us you know, we get paid for the meetings at the bare minimum, mm -hmm. but we don't bill for any other time. So last year we had the pay rate set at sixty dollars, which is what it's been for the past at least six years. Um, we pay quarterly on the first pay following the end of the quarter, uh, and then twenty dollars an hour for road work. The elected auditors obviously have to okay this and, and set the rate, uh, but I'll make a motion to keep it exactly the same. Uh, pay rate of sixty dollars per uh, per meeting. We pay quarterly, and it's twenty dollars an hour for road work. Or uh, I guess the treasurer would be twenty dollars and fifty cents. So uh, do you have that separately? No. What do you mean? Uh, well, we have the the thing in in here for the road work, but we have the thing in here for the treasurer. It is the same. Okay. Okay. So based on the fact that we raised the treasurer rate to twenty dollars and fifty cents an hour in the previous motion, you changed the road crew workers to twenty dollars and fifty cents. So you covered it. it yeah, okay. I'm going to do this in two pieces if you're okay with that. So, okay, I'm going to make a motion. I'm going to make a motion to set the meeting pay rate for supervisors at $60 per meeting to be paid for. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Okay, next motion is to set the pay rate for supervisors acting in the capacity of road crew or treasurer. To twenty dollars and fifty cents per hour. Second. Paul Peter. Hi. Okay. Next is to set the hourly rates for equipment. Last year we had made a motion to set the hourly rates for the equipment rental by other municipalities uh, with the Marion Township operator to be the following: greater fifty dollars per hour. John Deere tractor and loader three hundred one with or without attachments fifty dollars per hour. John Deere tractor and loader two ten C fifty dollars per hour. John Deere backhoe three ten SL at one hundred and fifty dollars per hour. The international truck at fifty dollars per hour. International truck and snow plow at seventy five dollars per hour. John Deere tractor sixty two thirty with or without attachments hundred dollars per hour. John Deere Chapter 6410 with or without boom mower attachments, sprayer and B plow at $75 per hour. We didn't have the boom mower last year, so I don't know what ah. said that. Oh. Um, okay. I mean, I don't have um, the other one is the Deere Chapters without 6230. That's the one with the mower, right? So, Yeah, I don't know what, what another municipality would charge. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, if some other municipality wants to rent it, it's mostly, I'd say, a cover cost and goodwill gesture more than anything else. It's us being good neighbors. Um, 
Hundreds. Yeah, so we want to do 100 for that one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, greater and deep plow was set at $50 or That's five, uh, four to five fifty dollars. So it's $50 an hour. Uh, four or five fifty truck and snow plow is 75 an hour. And the truck and spreader was $75 an hour plus any sale in the world or material. Um, so the only change that I heard so far on that was the John Deere tractor 6410 uh, with all the other attachments to being $100 per hour. And John, I asked John about um, renting out EMC equipment, and he said he wouldn't recommend doing that. We cannot rent the drone. Okay. Yeah, because he has to fly it. Um, I just figured if he had the possible oh, yeah. state, state. Yeah. you have to have a license for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, for the other equipment, he's saying it's some kind of a state law. Yeah. I trust John. Yeah. Yeah. So if he says he, he can. Said, he wouldn't recommend it. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Okay, so I'll make a motion to set the following rental rates between Marion Township and other municipalities for the following items and amounts. Uh, greater $50 per hour, John Deere tractor and loader 301 with or without attachments, $50 per hour, John Deere tractor and loader 210C, $50 per hour, John Deere backhoe 310SL at $150 per hour, international truck $50 per hour, international truck and snowplow $75 per hour, John Deere 6230 with or without attachments, $100 per hour. John Deere tractor 6410 with or without the lower attachments, greater and B plow, $100 per hour. Greater B plow is not attached to that. Oh, we just went over that. Uh, that would be $100 uh, an hour. I apologize for something here. No, so, sorry. Um, so let's set the $100 an hour. going to backtrack slightly. John Deere tractor 6410 with or without boom over attachments is $100. The greater and the plow is $75 per hour. Uh, the Ford 550 dump truck, $50 per hour. Uh, Ford 550 dump truck, or excuse me, truck and snow plow is $75 per hour. And the truck and spreader is $75 per hour plus any extra charge for sale. Second. Roll call, Peter. Hi. Hi, Ray. Hi. Okay. Question. Yes. Uh, we have that. I already had to put on the high like that. Well, that I, I think I think uh, I think that could be rented out without the using our high uh, because uh, Jackson Township had asked me uh, if we rent that out sometime. Okay, what do you, what would you think a fair hourly rate for renting out just the, the vibrator would be, Dave? I really think this equipment has never really gotten that out ever. Yeah. I think Google just let them borrow. Yeah. I mean, they borrow stuff from some of Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. You really you want to work with these communities? Yeah. Uh, if, if they're using their own power unit, mm -hmm. uh, unless as long as they bring it back and in good shape. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think my right. I would like to be James and yeah. Paula Hartman does the same thing with her children. Yeah. You know? yeah. so okay. A lot that of this is... stuff, a lot of this stuff really, if we would go up and help solve the happen on a road project, we yeah. can reciprocate. Yeah. I think we need to do a little do you have a little bit of uh flexibility mm -hmm. as far as absolutely yeah, agreed. Agreed. Uh, okay. like, so I don't ever remember anything being rented out. In the six years that I've been here, it's nothing's ever rented. Yeah, they cut these rates, but usually usually we don't even bother to have to go. Yeah. So okay. I would say just for your point, Dave, we just won't set a rate for it. If they want to borrow it, we just let them borrow it. And that would be yeah. yeah. I, mean, I, I agree with Dave. Yeah. They're close by and they need to use the backbone and they got a qualified operator and there were two miles of me in Jackson Yeah. Well, but I'm okay, you know. Yeah, because they it all know. depends on how much you wanna yeah. You know, I'm I'm all for being good neighbors on that because there's plenty of times where we'll be able to help people out the 20 times that we have to help us out. So yeah, I can right uh tell the good fight is you don't have enough if you have the it's what it costs, you don't have enough to make. Um, they're able to do their trip. Yeah. 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 They, they actually let people use their tripper. Yeah. And they actually are storing some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
even simple stuff like we had too much salt the one year and they were kind enough to yeah. keep it in their shed. So I yeah, I'm I'm all for being nice, playing playing well in the sandbox with everybody else. Well, this is part of the internet. Well, I, yeah. I, I did more to say. Yeah. So let, let them yeah. know that if they need to use it, just let us know. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next is to set municipal building and pavilion rental rates. Uh, previously, we had groups like the AA and Mary Grange renting here. Uh, we've not had that since the pandemic. Is that tight, Irene? Uh, uh, in the interest of keeping it on the books, though, in case they do want to resume having meetings anywhere, okay. Um, what? And they can here. Yeah. Um, yeah, they would be able to use. Yeah, yeah, they would be able to use the room. They can still use the building. Um, that's fine. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. So I would I would say let's in case either the AA or the Marion Grange in some strange work does come out of woodwork and, and say that they'd like to use the building. Um so we'll set the a rate or make a motion to set the rate of renting it out to the AA for $15 per day or $30 per week if they meet twice a week. Um Marion Grange, same rate, $15 per day. Um, typically repeat once a month. Uh, regular room rental would be fifty dollars per day, and the pavilion, if you chose to reserve it, would be twenty five dollars per day. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. That's so sad. Mm -hmm. I don't have any of those groups coming in here. Yes, or? but things will change as we move forward. If you don't, they will. Yes. Yes. Exactly. That's what I'm hoping for. Okay, next is to set the mileage rates. Uh, the mileage rate for the IRS, it would, 2023 was 67 cents, right? Uh, no, it was, sorry, it was like six by five. Oh, uh, that's right. It was a weird, like, 10 cents. It went up to 67 cents for 2024. Okay, thank you. Uh, next, uh, I guess the motion would be to appoint the same IRS rate. Yeah, uh, yeah. The, I'll, set a, I'll make a motion to set the Mileage rate to the IRS standard of sixty-seven cents. Second, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Next is the PSAT convention for twenty twenty-four. We need to nominate voting delegates for Marion Township. Uh, last year, this was two. Okay, uh, I know. Uh, we have to figure out who's going. Uh, we have to figure out who's actually going to go. But, yeah. Um. I mean, I would say. These two. Or either of you going to be interested in going to the B sets being like? I mean, they can check with me back. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Okay, that makes more sense now. That's correct. Okay, so I'm going to make a motion to authorize the attendance, hourly compensation, and mileage for any board of supervisors members, uh, secretary, or treasurers. I'm also going to authorize the attendance and a $50 compensation along with mileage to any elected auditors and the tax collector. Here. Aye. I, I just kind of. I know, it's, it's, yeah. 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 That's fair. Uh, okay. Next is to set the treasurer and assistant treasurer's bond amount. Last year, this was a bond amount of $900,000 for each bonded person. For sure, insurance representative, each person handling money, et cetera, should be bonded. I'll make a motion to carry the same bond amount of okay. 900 no, I'm still, there's only one person gets bonded. So Austin, no, no, Dan, Dan is bonded. Yeah. So will be bonded, but Dan won't be bonded. But you can get rid of his bond. Yeah. So he's not be stressed. Yeah, he wouldn't do it. Yeah. Well, so you need to reword that motion. Well, no, because we, no. we if we get an assistant oh, credit, it's already approved. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so uh, motion is to approve a bond amount for, of 900000 per representative being a treasurer and or assistant treasurer. Second. Roll call, Peter. Aye. 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 Would you keep working with the answers? Yes. Okay. okay. Next is to set the supervisor's meeting dates. Um, uh, next year for 2023, we made a motion to set the dates at the last Thursday of each month at 7 p.m. to be held in municipal clothing and by Zoom. Uh, with the exception of November, which was held on the 16th, the sure. beginning and work meeting, workshop meeting on November 11th, along with December meetings being held on the 21st, and the workshop being held on the 16th through the Christmas holidays. The uh, workshops are generally always held the Saturday before the board of supervisors meeting as the uh, on a roll call. We all carried that. So for 2024, Sue is getting the answer. Thank you, Sue. Uh, Thanksgiving falls on the fourth Thursday of November, the 28th of November. Christmas Day is on a Wednesday. Uh, New Year's Day is also on Wednesday, and July 4th is on Thursday. Uh, Halloween is also on a Thursday night. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing your best bad all night. You've been there. It's not Thanksgiving. So you might want to have the 16th and the 21st. The second last, so 16th and 21st. Christmas, we can either do it here right after or no. Uh, uh, 14 and 19. And Halloween, we don't want to do it on Halloween. Halloween's the 30th. Yeah. Halloween. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Uh, the 19th, the 24th, maybe 19th, the 24th. That's a good one. I just need a copy of the calendar so the best wants and fire chief. That's so we yeah, make uh, we don't we don't have the politics for politics. Can you highlight that? Yes, that's works for me. So the only one is um so July 4th. Wait, July 4th. Well, yeah, so that but that's for the holidays. Yeah. For the holidays. Um no, I think I think that's I think that's good. And if we find one, change it. Put it here. I will make a motion to set the Board of Supervisors meeting dates to be held the last Thursday of each month at 7 p.m. Area Township uh, building, as well as via telepresence. Uh, every month, with the exception of October, with the meetings being held on the 19th for the workshop meeting and the 24th for the Board of Supervisors meeting. November being the 16th for the workshop meeting and the 21st for the Board of Supervisors meeting and December with the 14th being the workshop meeting and the 19th being the Board of Supervisors. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene, aye. Okay. Next is to set the Planning Commission meeting dates. Uh, this is typically the third Tuesday of each month at 7.30 as needed, out here in the building. Um, I don't see any reason to change that. That's what it's been for forever. Um, I'll make a motion to continue having the planning commission meetings on the third Tuesday of each month at 7.30 as needed. Second. 
Roll call, Peter. Aye. Aye. Okay. Next is to set the holiday schedule for the township office. Uh, we, for 2023, had given Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, Easter Monday, Memorial Day, Juneteenth, Independence Day, Labor Day, Columbus Day, Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day, and New Year's Day. Uh, primary election day, April 23rd, and the general election day, November 5th. Um, do we have any other? Uh, yeah, do you have a copy of that? That's <laughs> my guide for the whole year. Okay, New Year's Day, definitely. Okay, yes. I think we're going to see the same thing. You want to say Easter? Easter's on a Sunday, though, isn't it? Yeah, so yeah. we go Easter. Yeah, Easter's always on Sunday. Like this. You're not going to get it right on Monday. Maybe Fool's Day. Easter yeah, I was gonna say there's I don't feel as dumb as we gave we gave an Easter day. Yeah. That wasn't yeah. not a weekend day. Mm -hmm. Um I'm gonna mark that floating. Um yeah, so Cinco of Mine, Mother's Day, Memorial Day, uh Petite. That's okay. quite easy. Go ahead. We need to shut the office, shut the You know, the work gets done. Yeah. October 14th is just one federal holiday. Um, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas Day. Yeah, Veterans Day. Yeah. Okay, so, Irene, are you okay with New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, President's Day, issuing a floating holiday for Easter, uh, Memorial Day, Independence Day, Labor Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Yeah. Okay. Juneteenth. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, I skipped that Juneteenth as well. So, so uh, adding Veterans Day. You have Columbus Day? Uh, do I have Columbus Day? That's a good question. October 11th. That's probably the one that they just marked federal holiday. October 14th. That's for the Yeah. Yeah, okay. 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 Got one, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. Yeah. When in that? When is Veterans Day? Uh, Veterans Day is November 11th. Okay. So, Sue, not to mess up your count here, no. I'm going to move the Easter floating holiday down to line 44. Why? Right. Because that way you can just take a day off. It doesn't have to be like Monday after Easter, necessarily. Like we don't have to close the office. We just give you guys an extra PTO day throughout the year. Well, it's your call. Oh, I'm going to be here. So, so seeing as this affects you two directly, would you rather have the Monday after Easter or would you have a random or would you rather have a random day of eight times here? It's a random day. Yeah, yeah that's personally that's where, yeah. that's where I go. It's random, random day. I'd rather have six days on rather than five. But um, okay. So I'll make a motion to set the holiday schedule for the township office to be New Year's Day, Martin Luther King Day, President's Day. Memorial Day, June D, uh, excuse me, June T, Independence Day, Labor Day, uh, Columbus or Indigenous Peoples Day, Veterans Day, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's. Any uh, yeah, thank you for writing this about all of that. And as well as the office being closed on the two election days, the primary election and the general election. Roll call, Peter. Aye. Irene. Aye. Uh -huh. Okay. Next is to set the PTO schedule for office staff. Uh, last year we issued uh, ten, or excuse me, five days to the treasurer, ten PTO days to the secretary, five days for assistant secretary. So uh, 
in that true fashion, what I'd like to propose this motion is uh, five, or excuse me, six days to the treasurer, 11 PTO days to the secretary, and six days to the assistant secretary. I get these off? Technically. <laughs> Peter. Aye. Irene, aye. Okay, that is the last on the agenda. So I'm going to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. The time is now 7 41. Roll call, Peter. Aye. 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 Thank, you. Thank you, everybody. Meeting adjourned.